last year, World Overshoot Day was August 22nd. After that date, every day we're stealing from future generations. We need to go to a circular economy. We only reuse 9%. 91% gets not reused. Think about that. Think about that, what we're doing. It's completely unsustainable. So what we need to do is not only move to a circular economy where people argue that we need to reuse what we dig out of the earth, and you know, recycled plastic would be a good example of that, obviously, but we need to actually think regenerative. With Imagine, we're now working with uh, the top 28 uh, food companies. And, and food right now, the way we produce food with deforestation, with food waste, uh, and, and other um, inefficiencies in the system, um, pesticides, whatever you call it, we have about 20% of global warming. But food should be completely the other way around. It should be regenerative and actually be 30% of the solution of climate change. So how do you move collectively to regenerative agriculture? Where you first with these companies collectively agree that that is what is needed. It is a pre-competitive space because we're talking here about the future of humanity. Then you need to work together across the value chain because the issue is so big that no company alone can do it. We need to put measures in place, soil health, carbon capture, um, restoration of nature, uh, farmers' well-being. So we create these KPIs, these common definitions, and then we start working on it. We hold ourselves accountable. With regenerative agriculture, we can actually capture or sequestrate carbon from the air again. If you make the soil healthier, you increase the yield, you can sell the carbon credits, the farmer earns more money, his yield goes up, he gets the carbon credits. We solve small hood, uh, small hood farmer livelihood issues. Poor people get better off. The wealth gets better off. These are the type of win-wins that we need to form. Companies that have um, decarbonized already, that have disclosed their risks, that have plans in line with the Paris Agreement, science-based, they tend to be more profitable. They've taken risks out of the system. They've identified opportunities. So all of this now starts to make business sense.